Hi everyone, today I am in the A36 Bonanza. This is the analog Bonanza recently released by Just Flight. It's developed by the team over there in Black Square who have also done the analog Caravan and the analog King Air. And this is a study level aircraft. So if you're looking to get into GA aircraft with a bit of complexity, this could be the aircraft for you. There's a link down in the description, go and check it out. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and start this puppy up from cold and dark. There's a few steps to go through, so let's jump into the cockpit. And here we are right here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the yokes. We don't need them right now. Now there's a before engine checklist and there's also the uh, engine start checklist and then also the after starting checklist and that's the ones we're going to go through as you can see they're all in here so if you're not sure on where something is you can use the uh, little uh, icon there and it'll show you where it is so I highly recommend if you're just learning this aircraft uh, to go ahead and use that checklist there I have gone ahead and printed off the checklist from the manual highly recommend uh, reading through the manual but let's get right into the before starting checklist so pre-flight checklist has been done so that's walking around the aircraft making sure everything's uh, connected and doing what it should be seats and seat belts uh, will say those are secure cabin doors are latched parking brake is set so here it is right down there parking brake emergency gear handle now this is hidden away you got to go back here and there it is right down there between the uh, passenger seat and the co-pilot seat. So that's where you find that. And that is, uh, that's stowed at the moment. The avionics breakers are along the bottom here. Those are all in. So that is good. Flaps are up. Here they are. They are up. You would have noticed that when you went ahead and did your uh, pre-flight checks outside the aircraft. We're looking for this oxygen pressure down here to be in the green. So it's between 1550 and 1850. It certainly is. And we want the avionics switch to be off. Well, nothing's on, so this suggests it is off. Let's just check it though. Master avionics switch is off. Throttle needs to be closed. It is certainly closed. There it goes right there. And uh, we want the RPM lever to be a high RPM, the prop lever, I should say. Mixture to be right through to rich. And cow flaps to be open. Here goes the cow flaps down here. Up is closed, down is open. So. It's preset there. You'll notice a lot of this stuff on the before starting engine checklist will be in the position you need it to be in. And here's another good example, which is the aileron trim. And it's right there. The triangles in the arrow right there is in line with the center. So that is centered. We want the alternate ear to be off. And here it is right there. It's pushed in. It is off. The firewall valve, it's over here. You want that to be pushed in. That's open. That's closed. So closed is what you want to be. Landing gear is down. I could see it outside the aircraft. And also the gear handle is down. All sub panel switches are off. So that's all these switches right here. Uh, they are off. So that is checked. We want the load meter to be on primary. There it is right there. It is on primary. The main breakers are all in. So that's these braking uh, circuit breakers along the left-hand side of the aircraft right there. They are all in. Alternate static air is on normal. Now, this is a little bit tricky to find this one. It's actually down in here. It's a little red handle. On and off. And it is uh, on normal right there. Okay. Now, the CO detector, we want to test that. So we'll go ahead. And there we go. We've got the alert going off. So that is working. Fuel selector, we want to be on the fullest tank. I've actually got the same amount of fuel in both tanks, so we'll just choose either the left or the right. When you fly this, remember to switch it over so you don't run out of fuel. Beacon light needs to go on. Right here, beacon light goes on. And the battery master switch to go on. That's right beside it, over here to the left-hand side. Um, and just want to check the bus volts. And they need to be at least 23 volts minimum. Uh, these little notches are in notches of two. It's actually on 24, so that is good. Uh, and you want to test the annunciators. So I'll go ahead and push those in, and you can see the panel lighting up the top there. So that's perfect. Primary alternator. Let's turn that on. Here it is here. The standby alternator is the next one. Go ahead and push that. Fuel quantities check. Here they go. Half a tank each, so that's good. We have got fuel. Always helps. Uh, you want the auxiliary fuel pump to, uh, switch that to low. And you'll subtly hear, I can actually hear it, you might not be able to hear it, but you just want to make sure you can hear it, and I can, so now turn it off. We want to then go ahead and turn the standby gyro pump on, and you want to make sure that this is illuminated up in the panel, which it is, that is great, and that the instrument ear is in green. Here it goes down here, it is in the green. So once you check those, you can go ahead and turn it off. 
And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the before starting engine checklist. Like I said, a lot of those are in the position, so it makes it nice and easy. If you're obviously going to start up the aircraft after you're flowing it, it uh, it's going to be slightly different. Uh, so now we're going to do an engine start uh, in the cold state that it's in at the moment. You also have a hot state, so if you've got it turned around, you're just flowing, there's a slightly different procedure. And also if you flood it, uh, if you go ahead and flood it, which can be easily done, there's a different procedure that goes with that too. So make sure you check out the manual. But let's go ahead and start this engine up cold. So we want the mixture to be full rich, which it already is, prop to be high RPM, throttle to be fully open. Now here's something that I've actually noticed, and this could change with future versions, but it says in the manual to turn on the auxiliary fuel pump for th two to three seconds. I find that's nowhere near enough. I find you need closer to 15 seconds. So what are we there? About five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And by the way, you want fuel flow to be above three, which it is. 13, 14, 15 sounds about right. So that's on for a lot longer than it says. And what I actually notice, this can be quite a temperamental aircraft to actually start, but I find it says crack the um, throttle by half an inch like that. I find putting it right back to idle <laughs> seems to work. So uh, let's do that and we'll go ahead and let's see if we can start this thing up. Oh, we did not get a start. Let's try it again. And there we go. We have got it started. So it only took two, two goes. Let's go ahead. Uh, you just want to pull back the revs a bit and you want to be between 1000 to 1200 RPM. So there we go, a successful start. So I'm pretty happy about that. So now let's go into the after starting checklist. A few things you need to do. First one we've already done, put your revs between your RPMs between 1000 to 1200 RPM. Oil pressure needs to be in the green. Uh, so let's just find that. Here it is here, it's in the green. Um, you want all these annunciators up here to be extinguished, the start one. No low volts annunciator up here. Uh, we want your alternator load to be t below 25 amps and here it is here there's 25 it's below that uh, your bus volts to be 28 there it goes right on the money basically just under actually it's close enough i think uh, check all your engine instruments just to make sure you're not in the red or anything uh, crazy like that you see the temperature just starting to rise there which is good uh, and then you can go ahead and set up your lights for whatever you're going to do so if you want a taxi you can do that uh, do whatever you want uh, your weather radar should be off. Uh, you do actually um, have the GTN 750 in here, by the way. I've got it set up, so that's cool. I've got the free version. Um, so you can turn on your avionics at this point here, and uh, these will start to rev up and warm up in due course. Uh, so you want, so if you then you go, then you can go ahead and set up whether you want to, you know, if it's a bit cold in the cabin, you can uh, turn on the vent blower. Uh, you've got your cabin heat pull on, there you go. Uh, aft cabin, defrost, all that stuff, or if it's a bit warm, uh, if it's summer, turn on the AC and uh, away you go, you can uh, give a bit of cold air depending on what the situation is. Uh, mixture, so we're just about to taxi, let's say we're about to taxi, um, so you just go ahead and lean out your aircraft ready to taxi, you release your parking brake and then you are good to go, you can go ahead and then go and run up the aircraft before you take off, so there we go ladies and gentlemen, that's how you start up the uh, analog bonanza by the team over there in Black Square from cold and dark. Um, it's pretty straightforward. They've got all the checklists in here to make it nice and easy. But as I said, a steady level aircraft. So uh, there's a few things you've got to consider when you go to start it up. But uh, hope you got something out of the video. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Till next time, everybody. Take it easy.